that if he <laughs> was taking questions, all of the uh, fans, all of the all of the public would be able to watch the live coverage. It's not like he's sitting down doing a one on one with right. a reporter. Yeah, but and then when he goes, I don't it. want to answer the next one. Then they're going to spin it. Well, look at him. He's guilty. He didn't want to answer that question. Well, I think a lot of people. Look could, at his, I think a lot of people could take him not taking questions look, and yeah. say he's guilty. Look right. at his facial reactions. Where do you want to start, Shine? Uh, well, since we've been talking about Shohei here, I think it's only appropriate that we start with uh, another man who. Uh, basically got blackballed uh, from baseball because of gambling on on it, and that would be one uh, Pete Rose. Here is uh, Pete Rose on the Shohei situation. Hey guys, Matt Thrash here, enjoying some March Madness with my great friend Pete Rose, and uh, we just had a we were talking about the current goings on in baseball right now, and Pete wanted to mention something. Well, back in the seventies and eighties, I wish I'd have had an interpreter. I'd be scot free. <laughs> He's right. He needed a fall guy, Pete Rose. Yeah, he did. Mm. That was the problem. It was there was no way to spin it because he was actually like, you know, he was writing down his bets on, uh, you know, the old tickets that you used That's to get it. when you had a bookie. So there was no way to really spin it when it comes to Pete Rose. But the, I mean, isn't it amazing was, that people still believe Pete, thinking that he never bet against his team? Like, yeah. Who with a brain thinks that? Well, don't people think he he isn't the assumption that he bet. On his team. Like, he was betting on his team to win. He right. wasn't betting on them to lose. So, you know, he had faith in his guys. And he was, <laughs> he was, I, I, listen. I, so the, you're down a couple hundred grand and you're the manager of the Reds and you say, okay, if I can lose this game, I get my money back. Yeah. Pete Rose wouldn't. And he wouldn't do it. It's kind of like the <laughs> basketball plays for the Raptors, you know, yeah. in this whole situation. Well, the player, I mean, this, this is the thing that I, Shime doesn't want to hear it. But the proliferation, is that the right word, of betting apps, I think is going to be an issue. Like, you look at, Wiggy's talking uh, about the Raptors center, Jonte Porter, is that his name? Uh, ah, yeah. yes. And so the NBA is now officially in investigating him. There were two games in which he, one of them he feigned some sort of an eye injury, he said an eye injury had come back. The other, he claimed he uh, had an illness that affected him so that he was uh, he, he had to sit on the bench mm -hmm. like double zero used to have to sit on the bench for right. the entire game for Neshoba, the Chieftains, unless we were up by 40. And you had money on pizza uh, after the game. <laughs> uh, and in those games, there was uh, a massive amount of activity on his unders. His so, prop bets. <laughs> uh, so all the under, you know, the under props. So, you know, points, rebounds. Yeah, and they uh, immediately is... figured out it was him. Yeah. And they immediately <laughs> took him off the court. And they're immediately going to suspend him. Like that's So that's the difference. It's like, I think if people think that players weren't doing this prior gambling apps being around are naive in thinking that players weren't already trying to do this. And so now that it just makes app, it easier, though, Sean. Sure. It makes it way but, easier. But you also get found out right away. Yeah. Makes, like, that's the difference. That's not true. It makes yes, it Yes, it is. Wait, how can you state that you find out right away? We, this, guy, this guy has been this guy's dead in the water. How long, in, like within Shime, the, how halfway long, through the season. How long has Shohei's interpreter been wagering on on sports? But that's Shohei's yeah. interpreter, Greg. That's uh, not Shohei. Uh, like, <laughs> and, and it, if Shohei's and funding again, it, they weren't through actual books. That's my point. Like there are there are ways. That's why I'm saying is prior to books being everywhere and being easily accessible on your phone, there were clearly players doing stuff like this, and you're naive to think there weren't. Now, because of the amount of actual legitimate sports books, they are tracking every dollar and cent that is bet and so when they notice something weird like with Jonte Porter they immediately tell the leagues because they have giant partnerships with them and the leagues take care of it you don't just think, like in this situation you don't think it's more tempting for a player or a friend of a player to wager because of the access because of how easy it is because it's right there oh on your hell phone. yeah Hell yeah. Yeah, you can wait. Yes, it is easier to access, but like uh, like I said, you also, it's way, way easier to get caught. Like, it's so much easier to get caught but, now. But Sean, the temptation, you, Greg, you're spot on, is especially when you're talking about like prop bets uh, on yourself, the yeah. outcome of the game might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah. But if you're a guy and you go, okay, hey, listen, the prop is three catches in the game. Yeah, five rebounds. You, you like, know, you and, know, and, and my buddy's a, my buddy's a big gambler. I'm like, listen, uh, hey, lay some heavy cash down because the game plan is setting around me. I'm going to go way over three catches. I, I, and Greg, yeah. I love how Shine believes that we just find out immediately because we know these cases. 
just because somebody gets pulled over for drunk driving doesn't mean that drunk driving is dead everywhere else. Right. Right. I, I mean, like, the, but you also the, can't the, prove the, that the, it's the, happening the, without them getting caught now, Curtis. Tim like, that's Donaghy the point. was how long? A, Before how long sports was, books were everywhere, I know, Curtis. I'm, I'm explaining to you. Calm down. It, you you sound like an <laughs> addict who needs to have this still in his life. Ha, no, no, no. You got it. It it, it, it boggles my mind that you guys don't cover. First of all, this guy plays in Toronto. That is in Canada. It's not in the United States. Let me write so that I don't down. even know if that's. I don't <laughs> even think that. I don't even know if sports books are legal in <laughs> Toronto. I don't even know how that works. Okay. International law, not my thing. So, but that means that he can only gamble when he's traveling into United into the United States in states that have legalized gambling. And then when he does that on the apps, he gets caught right away. Whereas <laughs> prior to sports books being everywhere, he probably would not have been caught right I, away. I would wager <laughs> That he didn't get caught because the gambling app identified him. He got caught because somebody noticed, wait a second, dude is uh, claiming that he, he's he got an eyelash in his eye and he can't play the rest of the game. And suddenly there's a whole lot of activity money-wise on the under. Well, the, no, they, like said, I, they said part of the reason on why he got caught. And I agree with both you guys on this, but you know, and Sean is because he started betting upwards to ten and twenty thousand dollars, which he wasn't normally doing. So I, I get what you're saying, Greg, where it is way more attractive for people and players to do it. But I also agree with Sean. The paper trail now, if you're doing it through these legal apps, it's so much easier for them to for for you know law enforcement to catch you. Back in the days when you went to a bookie, it was so hot that there was no paper no, trail. There was no paper trail. But yeah. now, I mean, it just shows right. that guys are doing it on their phone and they have no clue. But we here's are, the issue, very quickly, that the reason why people want you to believe that everything's under control is because the whole ecosystem only exists if this can continue as it was prior to finding out certain guys were dirty. The, the, it's this appearance that things are under control so that Shime and others continue feeding the monster, but there's no actual way of proving that. I bet less guys are doing it there's also that. no actual way of proving that it isn't, Curtis. I bet less profe- like, you're, it, 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 you're, it's the, it, it, the argument goes the same way. Right, but I bet less professional athletes are doing it now than they were before the gambling apps <laughs> because they know it's way easier to get caught. Yeah, maybe. All right.